The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. All right, our next question actually comes from one of our very own associate producers, Olivia, who is back in the procedure room with podiatrist, Dr. Ali Sadre. So Olivia, tell us what's going on. So I've got a confession to make. For as long as I can remember, I've had an extra toenail on both of my pinky toes. It's, you know, embarrassing, and I've always worn closed-toed shoes. Mm. And honestly, it kind of hurts. So I just was wondering, is there anything that I can do to fix this? Well, your feet are in the right hands. Give us the room, Dr. Sadri. Tell us what you're going to do. Well, Olivia's got an interesting problem. This is a split nail. It's actually not an extra nail. It's a split nail, and it's caused by a variety of issues, usually by shoes rubbing on the side of the nail, some trauma maybe, a poorly groomed nail at a pedicure place. Sometimes dancers, athletes, people that cause constant trauma on the toenail will cause that split. And then once it splits back to the root area, that portion of the nail always grows irregularly. It becomes like a bad portion of the nail because nail is made from keratin like hair, and if you traumatize it, it never comes back the same way. So we call it dystrophic nail. So what we're gonna do today is do a procedure for her to remove that bad portion. You can see right out here, this area is the dystrophic portion she's complaining of, the splits right here. So we're actually gonna remove that with the associated root, surgically, stitch it up and it'll never come back and it'll actually look beautiful. How long will it take her to heal? Um, it shouldn't, just because the skin healing is all we need to do. So once we've removed the root, once the skin stitches, usually about a week to two, depending on the person, then she's all done and she can wear shoes and function during the recovery process. So, so she's already been injected, she's not feeling anything? She's already numb. So the first step of the procedure is we're gonna lift up the skin around the nail to make sure that we have a full area. You feeling any pain? Nope. Just pressure. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you going to say it or me? Don't do this at home. Yeah. Do not. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please. Visit your local podiatrist. You? That's the right thing. There might be a little bit of blood for those who are squeamish. And we're going to push. We have a lot of squeamish yes. people in the audience. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. And you can see the nail's kind of already separated by itself. It's like it's saying, get me out of here. I do not like my neighbor. And we're going to do that for right now. Now we're going to use a little beaver blade and just kind of splice it all the way up, nice and, and pretty. And you don't feel anything, right? Maybe uh, a little pressure, but no pain. I don't feel anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little incision in the skin too, right here, and go all the way deep mm. to the skin. So right there, and I'm going to excise that so we can actually flap this whole thing out together. Nice and neat. It's a sterile, so we don't want to... There we go, nice and clean. Are you watching, Olivia? <laughs> I'm what? trying not to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good idea. Good idea. Well, for those of the people watching, just while he does a little more technical work, your nail is actually made at the very base, beyond the cuticle. That's called the matrix of the nail. So that's what he has to take out right now. That's along like a with tooth that, coming this, out. Yeah, yeah. That, it is like a tooth nail. coming out. That's oh a lot happened. Let me, let me show you the culprit. Live right on out. So this is the problem right here. And if you take a close-up of this segment here, what we have is not only nail inside of it, but also the matrix, the little white tissue on the edge. And that's what's causing all the trouble from this nail growing. The matrix is out with it, with the nail, with a segment of skin, which we're gonna stitch for you right now. So what we did is if you take a look at the finished result, we took a flap of skin out, there it is. And mm. so once we close it, the nail will stay the size that we left. So the portion that we left in there is gonna stay, the rest of the nail will not grow. So this is permanent. Okay. Yeah. So, so that additional portion of the yes. nail will not right. grow back. And okay. that's, that's correct. So let's do a few stitches in here for you. One or two stitches. Dr. Saudry, do you worry about infection just given where it is on the foot mm -hmm. and the, the slow circulation in that area? So we did, we sterilized the foot before the procedure. So she's not getting an infection from our procedure itself. We're gonna use a silver dressing on top of it so it prevents any kind of bacterial growth. And um, so she shouldn't get an infection. We're gonna see her about a week after for a dressing change and that way we'll stop any kind of bacterial process in the area. There we go. Doc. Beautiful. Uh, oh. A work Beautiful. of really art. Nice work. Nicely Love done. It. Fantastic. We like yes. this. Real time. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Sadre. <laughs> How do you feel, Olivia? It, I, feel, I feel good, I feel great. You know, it looks really good. I'm so excited to have cute toes. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, nice. thanks again, both of you.